This playthrough is rated E for everyone. That be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream, I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freepwood. Twas not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. It's some terrible nightmare. It was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh, no. It can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. Aye, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intending to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine. A treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with you. Well, I thought that Big Whoop was the carnival of the damned. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of the Curse of Monkey Island. In the last episode, we got the ring together and put it on a lane. It got knocked out, but unfortunately, right after we're doing it, we got caught by LeChuck. Now we're back at the Carnival of Damned, a big whoop. Dang it. All right. But it uh, looks like we got a uh, good old uh, LeChuck monologue here. I wonder if we can get our way out of this. Let's see what happens. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood, when I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves. Yipe. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. I wonder if I, I wonder if a. Ron Gilbert actually had that in mind, or that was just some kind of big MacGuffin that we were never supposed to know in the original uh, Monkey Island 3, but uh, like I said, even with the new game he created a few years ago, he doesn't even remember or it wouldn't be the same game anymore anyway, so. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to, but it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. Wow, all this for a lady that's uh, that's uh, a seven at best, dude. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, wow, crazy. So is that that's how he keeps coming back from from uh, was it uh, Ghost LeChuck, Pirate LeChuck, and now I guess Demon LeChuck is what this one is. So, well, okay, huh? Why didn't he? Do that? So okay, so he's just trying to get Lay this whole time to just turn her to a demon, or was he he wait to see if he accepted her before that? Wow, this guy's simping harder than a than a well. Just, just simp it hard. That's all. So, although simp it hard would mean he would uh, be letting her do anything she wanted to. So maybe this is a different type of thing. But uh, anyway, yeah. Sorry, Elaine. You, this guy loves you so much. He just won't let go. Uh, just can't take no. No means no, dude. But if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? I at first, but soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides. The dating pool will be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. Oh, it's to propagate the undead species, I guess. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention what the at what cost. That's a, a Shatner impression for those who don't recognize it. Also, they did a nice another uh, Star Wars reference, of course. What's well, LucasArts? Of course, they're going to do a lot of Star Wars references. This whole amusement park. Why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, 
I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. But again, why an amusement park? I'll be getting to that. I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. Everyone knows that the life of a seaman is a long, hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into porty. Uh, well, I could think of two good uh, things that, uh, that they would do, but, uh, uh, er, uh, yes, why, uh... Why, um... A family-oriented fun park! Oh, that. <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak, and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys! They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. So they have to go through that fire to become undead? You can't just find some skeleton on the ground and animate him or something like that? I mean... Thousands of people die daily just for just for things. So, ah, it must be some weird convoluted thing or whatever. And I thought Big Whoop is what they call it when when that nah, never mind. How did you find Big Whoop? That'd be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Hi. Go on then. Back when I were alive, Elaine despised me. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, yeah. Do we ever figure that out, or are we never going to figure it out? Again, this is called the Curse of Monkey Island, that secret, mainly for seri uh, legacy purposes and series purposes. But, uh, uh, actually, I think torture would be better than the story. Been there, done that. What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island. I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. You don't know, do you? All right. Well, prepare, be prepared for spoilers for things for those who don't care. And what I mean is by the answers he's going to give. The Rosebud is a sled. That says a cane. Uh, guy's girlfriend's really a man. That is, uh, not Hunger Games. Uh, crap. Uh... Well, there's a, there's a movie based on that. Like, the guy likes this girl, and then he finds out it's really a man. It's like, oh, what is this movie called? It's been forever since I've seen it. But anyway, uh, well, just look it up. Uh, that they have to shoot the dog at the end. That's Old Yeller. Uh, that's made for people. That's Soil and Green. Uh, that the girl is her daughter and her sister. I don't remember that one. Uh... Yeah, I don't remember the movie on that one. Sorry, that's the only one I don't recognize. Uh, that a sequel could ever be as good as the original? Yep. That a sequel can never be as good as the original? Lies! Filthy, dirty lies! No, it goes much deeper than that. It's an ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happen to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right, then. Let's get on with your story. A few days after setting sail, my ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with no hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought me luck had run out, but one day a ship made port at Blood Island. Was the ship of one Captain Marley, Elaine's own grandfather. I struck up a conversation with Rum Rogers Sr., first mate on the ship. And for the price of a few drinks, I learned that they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Although I had no ship and no money. Hold on. 
Yeah, what? what? <laughs> I'm sorry, were you saying something? You know you can make a fortune as a sleeping aid. Can I sit down? Both my legs and arms are going to sleep. Is this going <laughs> to go on for much longer? You know, you could make a fortune as a sleeping aid. Although I had no ship and no money, I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship, but I still had my greatest asset. Uh, hmm, that's a tough one. The ability to kill bugs by merely breathing, your resemblance to more more eel, the your immunity is a soap. That your presence makes dumb people seem much smarter. But I still had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable Chuck charm. One of the rich young debutantes on Blood Island was helpless against it. After a week with me, she would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I pried the diamond from her family's engagement ring and sold it to some cutthroat smugglers for the cost of a new ship. I guess uh, Captain Andre or whatever it was, uh, that the one lady we helped uh, set up with that one dude, undead dude, that was her, so. You scum, you scoundrel, you ruffian, you cad, you big old wet, <laughs> wetty doo-doo head. <laughs> All right, little Chuck. Was she hot? Did you kiss her? You big old bedwetting duty head. Hmm, I've been called worse. With me new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. Yeah, I don't... Okay. If you ever want this to stop, he has a lot of stories, but if you ever want to skip on to the, the section, uh, tell him to get it over with. However, this chapter is kind of short. This one and the next chapter are really short. So that'll be the whole episode. So, you know, or the episode will be this one. And then episode six will be the final episode. So get it, get as much information as I can. I'm still confused about the carnival. Then ask me. As designer and founder, I can answer all your questions. How did you build an amusement park on a deserted island? The process begins with a winning design team. I scoured the Caribbean, looking for the best and brightest artists, engineers, and creative people. After a lengthy period of intensive recruitment, intimidation, <laughs> and murder, I had my team at work, slashing and burning acres of old-growth timberland on Monkey and Dinky Islands. That must have been back-breaking work. Aye, that it was. Fortunately, hundreds of men were lost to malaria, wild animals, or construction accidents. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, I guess. But I assume nothing happened to you because you were, you were, uh, you were uh, not doing all that. What kind of attractions do you have? Here at Big Whoop, we pride ourselves on the variety and authenticity of our attractions. We be using a magical blend of art, technology, and indentured servitude that we like to call Dynamo Monk Electrics. Frighteningly realistic skins and other body parts are attached to a framework of gears, servos, and pulleys, all constructed from a remarkably lightweight composite material. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, oh boy. <laughs> But, you know, the torture begins if we stop talking. How do you power all the rides? That be a good question. As you may already know, the power of Big Whoop be derived from its position as an infernal nexus, binding our world with the unholy manifestation of evil itself. Well, of course. But like all fuel sources, it can't be lasting forever. That's why it'd be our job to conserve its demonic power wherever possible and look to alternative power sources. Oh. Uh, let's see. These are all, these all should be good. Solar, wind, hydroelectric, fossil fuels? Nuclear. No. We tap our greatest natural resource. Monkeys. My word. Hordes of ruthlessly trained monkeys are hidden away deep within the bowels of the park, bound to immense machines of destruction and family entertainment. That's so inhumane. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. It be the little touches that make the difference. Mark my words, LeChuck. 
When I finally defeat you, I'll be sure to set them all free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let my people go. I mean, let my funky friends go. What's in the future for Big Whoop theme parks? The future is ripe with a world of possibilities. I see an entire network of theme parks throughout the world. Each will be unique and incorporate the cultures and customs of its specific area. But all will hold true to the same vision of the original park. The random, wholesale slaughter of the thousands of patrons who walk through our gates. So he's going to take over the world with amusement parks? What? I thought the treasure of Big Whoop was on Dinky Island. Dinky Island be an atoll just off the coast of Monkey Island. But they'd be connected by a maze of mysterious tunnels that run under the very ocean floor. So although you dug for treasure on Dinky, when you found me carnival, you were on Monkey Island. <laughs> very tidy explanation. Aye. I've heard quite enough about your disgusting theme park. Basically, they were trying to like, not so much retcon, but they were trying to tie it all together to make it make sense. But I thought the whole point was that it was, it's a humorous game of comedy, so it's supposed to be kind of like silly and over the top. So it's not supposed to make sense at times, you know what I mean? I don't know. Ron Gilbert has an odd sense of humor, but... What happened to Captain Marley and his crew? Their ship arrived at Monkey Island a half hour after mine. But they were too late to stop me from claiming me prize. And they watched me pass through the portal of Big Whoop. Craven cowards that they were, the power of what they saw overwhelmed them. They fled the island in terror. Marley tore his treasure map into four pieces and gathered his crew around him. There was Rum Roger Sr., the first mate, Rap Scallion, the cook, and young Lindy, the cabin boy. Marley gave each a piece of the map, keeping one for himself. They promised to guard those map pieces with their lives. I saw to it that they kept their promise. They were the only people alive to know about Big Whoop. Yeah, that was from the second game or whatever where we found the map pieces. Uh, yeah, it seems like this whole monologue is just to kind of connect the games together. Like maybe they were thinking this was going to be the final game or something like that. Lo and behold, they had other games afterwards. What happened to Rum Rogers Sr.? He was taking a bath in his cabin near Fat Island, drinking rum and eating toast, as he always did while bathing, when the toaster mysteriously fell into the tub with him. Shocking. His son inherited the map piece, but was too much of a drunkard to understand its importance. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> who, who eats the toast in the bath with the toaster right next to it anyway? What happened to Rapt Scallion, the cook? Rapt Scallion died in a flash fire in his weenie hut on Scab Island. That's right. I brought him back to life with a voodoo spell. I remember it so vividly. Guybrush. Guybrush. Oh, I'm sorry, I was miles away. What were you saying? I knew about Rap's absent-minded tendency to leave his gas burners on. So I arranged for a fully lit cake to be delivered to him on his 35th birthday. <laughs> You can hear the explosion as far as Booty Island. That's horrible. Steaming weenie indeed. Yeah, it shows the cutscene that actually plays with the second game on it, so <laughs> nice all the like all the references to the previous games. What became of young Lindy, the cabin boy? Fearing for his life, he came to me and begged for mercy. In return for not revealing the location of Big Whoop, I let him live. As a sign of me gratitude, I gave him a fortune, which he used to build a successful advertising firm. Once he had grown accustomed to his wealthy lifestyle, I returned to collect me debt. I delivered to him an account so demonically ill-conceived that it was doomed to fail. Gangrene and honey. Within a month, he was penniless and insane, a broken man. He sold everything he owned and got so desperate, he fell in with a traveling circus. 
He was killed, but he was shot from a cannon without a helmet. No one could be that desperate. Yeah, I remember the circus. <laughs> what fate befell Captain Marley? I ambushed him while he was racing in the America's Cup. I boarded his ship and decided to let him determine his own fate. He could grant me his blessing to have his granddaughter's hand in marriage, or he could suffer a death more horrible than any of his crewmates. Well, what'd he say? Actually, he said quite a few things. Oh, the pain. Stop it, you're killing me. <coughs> Some other things, I forget them all. I left him for dead and sent his ship into a whirlpool not even the most accomplished captain could escape. You're unbelievably ghastly and wretched. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> well, he is the villain, so, yeah. Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> You're, uh... You'll crush the hopes and dreams of, uh, of children all over the world. You'll be a really big trouble. Uh, <laughs> there'll be no more Monkey Island games sequels, My Little Monkey sequels, or... You'll ruin our reputation for making family-oriented games. We'll be scorned by parent watchdog groups everywhere. What'll you threaten me with next? Some ludicrous Senate subcommittee investigating violence in the media? Well, I'm shaking in me boots now. Yeah, the, uh, at least in our country, the Senate, every, like, so many years, they keep trying to bring up, like, you know, games, like, cause violence and do all this crazy stuff, and it's never been proven. All studies never prove it. Every time, and they still try to do it. Every time. You know, try to defend my hobby, and these people keep trying to come in and just trying to, uh, trying to change things. Well, sorry, I got a little heat there for a second. Anyway, back to the game. Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me... You'll crush the hopes of children all over the world. I'm a hero to millions. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that Elaine and I are together. And you are out of the picture for good! But Elaine loves me, so, you know. Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me... Although we were in the first game, she we she eventually fell in love with us because of just all the things we did. Then the second game, she hated us because we kept wanting to go on adventures, and she didn't like that we ran off. But then at the end of that game, we kind of fixed our differences, and then, you know. You'll be in really big trouble. I'm one of the walking dead, formed not of flesh and blood, but of fire and brimstone. How could I be in any more trouble? Yeah, well... Uh, that's a tough one. Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me, there'll be no more Monkey Island sequels. No sequels means no work for you. You'll become just another has-been that nobody's heard of. Oh, that could never happen to me. I'm LeChuck. Do you know the name Bobbin Threadbear? Uh, no. <laughs> exactly. That That's the voice actor of, of LeChuck, by the way. <laughs> Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. Oh, by the way, rest in peace, Bobby. He he passed away quite a few years ago. Uh, voice actor LeChuck. Such a memorable voice, I think. Too, I don't think he got much workouts. I mean, he got some workouts out of this, but I don't think he got a ton of work. I don't remember hearing him too often. But anyway, sorry. Anyway, Elaine really loves me. Does not. Yeah, she does. Does two love me? Does not. Are these guys five? Does two infinity? Does. Uh, ah! Curse you and your diabolical debate skills. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. I'm not listening, I'm not listening. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Did someone say something and I didn't hear anything? La 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freeport. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. 
I regret nothing. Uh, what happened? He cursed us or something, then we ran off. Weird. Where are we, anyway? Hmm. Well, we got all our, most of our inventory. A lot of the cluttered stuff that we don't need anymore is gone. So, oh, we can interact with the door. It's the solid steel six-inch thick door to this insidious cage. Nah. Now, I wonder why he meant to, that we were acting like an inner child. That's nah, probably nothing, right? <laughs> it's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. He's taking Elaine on his roller coaster of death. I've got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. What's happened to me? Head foggy. Can't think. Mind swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. But how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? Oh, if only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh-oh, looks like we've been turned to a child by LeChuck. I guess that's what he meant to be with our uh, childish nature or whatever, so... Uh. Well, I guess we have to figure out how to turn to normal. So what he says, we were having a hard time thinking everything like that. That's the classic signs of a hangover. So we need to form, uh, we need to actually make the hangover drink. So we need to find the three things required for a hangover, which is the pepper, hair of a dog that bit you, and eggs. How do we do that, though? I wonder if we could just walk into the, the uh, roller coaster of death. Just going to go there. Nope. <laughs> that ride's just for bigger kids. Nuts. All right, we're too we're too tiny here, so we have to figure a way to get those three items. So, man, Guybrush was kind of creepy looking as a kid. Hey, there's Murray right there. One last time, one last roll, uh, show for the road, eh, Murray? Because we're uh, like, there's only one more part after this, and the game's over. So yeah, we're almost there. It says Hall of Oddities. Mm, no, nah. Hall of Oddities. I wonder what would be inside such a thing. It says Trixie, the giraffe-necked girl. I think that's a re that's a reference to uh, Sam and Max uh, Freelance Police. It says Frozen Bigfoot. The uh, same thing. These are all Sam and Max references. So, for those who are curious. It says Rides. It's a huge stack of meringue pies. Wait, meringue? Mm. I wonder. Gate. <laughs> okay. Nah. I can't go back there. I'm deathly afraid of mimes. Uh, you, so you don't like porcelain and you don't like mimes. <laughs> Good to know. I have to wonder if he's genuinely content with this line of work. Monty Meringue, huh? Mm, no. He's a mime. He doesn't talk. Oh, uh, he doesn't talk much. Oh, whoops. No, I can't do that from here. Yeah. yeah I don't think he'd like that. Okay, you can't talk to that guy. Look at this rat character. Let's take a look at him. Cute. A grotesquely enormous smelly rat. Sounds like some carnivals I went to as a kid. You know, the overweight guy in a creepy animal outfit. He doesn't actually want to be there, but he's doing it for to bring in all the, the gullible parents. I'd better not. I think he could take me. Yeah. Hey, you. Yeah, kid, what is it? What's Dingy Dog really like in person? What are you asking me for? I'm just a giant rat. I'm not allowed to associate with His Highness, the great and mighty Dingy Dog. Uh, apparently there's some uh, rivalry or hatred with other mascots in this place. Could you uh, introduce me to Dingy Dog? No, I can't. Now go away. No. Yeah. Dingy Dog's really cool, huh? Oh yeah, he's a regular saint. So much more gifted a performer than any common old giant rat. Give a guy a big dog suit and he turns into a, a freaking prima donna. So there's a lot of hostility there. I bet Dingy Dog gets paid a lot of money, right? Yeah, and so what if he does? It doesn't take any talent to make a big puppy dog appealing. Now, getting children to hang around a giant rat, <laughs> that's odd. I bet his suit doesn't stink either. You know, you're really starting to bug me, kid. 
Yeah, hey, stop talking. You're bugging me, kid. I bet Dingy Dog could beat you up. Could not. I bet he could. I'll tell you what, kid. Why don't you go take a swipe at him and then come back here and tell me what happened, huh? That's a clue of how to get the, the dog fur, by the way. Yikes, what is that horrible smell? It's a giant rat suit, you little brat! What did you expect, roses? Well, it shouldn't smell. Am I the only one nauseated by that terrible stench? Okay, okay, the suit smells. We've heard it! Everybody just come over and pick on the giant rat man. Okay. Am I the only one nauseated by that terrible stench? Okay, okay, the suit smells. We've heard it! Everybody just come over and pick on the giant rat man. Okay, we're done with that. What are you guys doing here? It's blow the man down, the most fun in the midway. Hit the funny clown and win a fantastic prize. Watch the pies fly from the cannon with blinding speed and loud report. And if your aim is true, go home with your winnings. Join in the laughs with your happy sailor host Warfred and his pal Monty Meringue. What flavor? What? What flavor are the pies today? I don't know. Lemon meringue, I think. What kind of a stupid question is that? It seems kind of pointless when you think about it, but there's a reason for it. How does this whole booth work again? It's not that complex a concept, kid. Fire pies from the cannon at the guy in a clown suit. You hit him and win a prize. It's great fun. Great fun. What in the world is meringue? I don't know, kid. Whipped egg whites, I guess. That's a clue to get the eggs, is we need that meringue, so. How does this whole booth work again? It's not that complex okay. a concept, Oops, kid. Sorry. Fire pies from the cannon at the guy in a clown suit. You hit him and win a prize. It's great fun. Sorry, I won't let me skip the dialogue, so. I want to shoot the cannon. I want to shoot the cannon. Sorry, little boy. You're too young. Blow the man down is for older kids. That's discrimination. How do I know it really works if I can't see it go off? Okay, kid, you want to see the cannon fire? Here we go. Well, that was cool. Get to do it again. Hit the vibe again. Fire the cannon again. I already showed it to you. Do it again. Do it again. All right, kid, just one more time. Okay, wait, well, anyway, wait. That's not gonna work because we're not gonna be able to get the meringue from him. So, never mind. Okay, so we need to figure a way to get him to shoot it while getting meringue for on ourselves. So that's the next step. It's the cannon they use to launch pies at the clown. Hey, you're too little to use that cannon, kid. And wait for one of the older boys to come along, huh? But I really want to fire it. It's too dangerous for a little boy to use. I'm not a little boy. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> right, and I'm Dingy Dog. <laughs> you wish. Half pint, little punk. Get lost before I have to do something you're gonna regret. Yeah, ouch. Uh, uh, well, I could be 20 if I have either dwarfism or if I have a. Uh... Oh, I forgot what that uh, condition is. That some people that they get older, but they never get. They get old, old, but they never physically change until they hit like that certain age, like uh, Gary Coleman and stuff like that. But I forgot what the condition's called. And get your mouth away from that cannon, kid! It's dangerous. What did it say? Talk to cannon? <laughs> well, it's not like he's gonna lick it. It's a huge stack of meringue pies. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I just want one of those pies. Yeah? Well, I just want out of this stinking rat head. Life's tough, kid. Cope. <laughs> get real. Amscray! Yeah, I can't get, just steal the pie. Nope, it's never that easy. All right, let's take a look at this thing. What's this? It says, guess your age and weight. Okay. Whoa. Nah. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. That might be a glitch. I don't think it's actually supposed to happen. Uh. Well then. Uh. <laughs> I think we might have had a technical issue. Nah. It says, guess your age and weight. Uh. Huh. Weird. All right. Uh. Let me, uh. Let me try to fix this really quick. I did not, uh. <laughs> I actually didn't. I've never come across this a bug before. 
I must have done something that, uh, like interacting with something caused it to happen, so, uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, sorry about that. That was weird that the color just went out like that. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, let's take a look at this, uh, guess your age and weight thing. Whatever these dragon things are. An anchor? This anchor looks good, heavy, and useful. Nah. Hey, you can't just have that, kid. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's see, it looks like we've got some little junk dolls, some voodoo dolls here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Smuggler Rabbit or whatever his name is. Smuggle Bunny, that's it. I don't know why. Adorable. Adorable. Well, that's not for free. <laughs> you gotta win it. Nah. Good old fashioned sturdy carnival scale. <laughs> that's not a toy, little boy. Nah. Yeah, well, sorry about that. Man, we can't do anything around this guy. Let's see what Murray's up to. It's Murray. Well, I like the guy, but this is getting ridiculous. But I like Murray. I wanted to be in our party. Yo, Murray. Hey, it's you. Are you dead yet? You look different. Not dead, Murray. Just cursed. Cursed? That's perfect. I'm cursed, too. Let's join our cursed forces together. And together, we can rule the world. <laughs> yeah. Let me get back to you on that. He always wa he wants to rule the world with us, so why not, man? Hey, Murray, check this out. Oh, ick. What have you done to my arm? Rubbed paste all over it. You're a sad, strange little man. A <laughs> sad, sick little man. I don't think he'd like... I don't think he'd like... I was trying to see if there's anything else I don't think he... This is the last appearance of Murray, by the I way, I don't think he'd like... He does appear in the sequel. Yeah, but I don't think he. Yeah, I don't think he. In the sequel, he doesn't yeah, have much of a role, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I don't think he. It's very minimal. Yeah, I don't think he. It's weird. They actually in this game they use him a lot. I mean, this is his first appearance, but. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep. Yeah, I don't think he'd like. Oh, by the way, we, the reason we have this recipe book is just in case we forgot how to make the hangover for whatever reason. No, that would be pointless. Okay, wait, anyway. wait. Let's talk to Dingy Dog then. Yikes. He looks a lot less cute and a lot more huge and terrifying in person. Just like most mascots. I actually wasn't a fan of people in mascot outfits when I was a kid from what I remember. I don't remember all the details. I just remember my folks kept trying to get me to go to people that were in outfits and I'd always run away and, or, or get behind them. I would never hug those people. I'd always be like, nope, I'm not doing it. Get away from me. So... I knew, I knew to, to protect myself, you know, but... Are you the real dingy dog? You, you bet I am, and I'm here to make sure you have fun, fun, fun. What's your name, little boy? Okay, for starters, I'm not a little boy. I'm Guybrush Threefoot, Mighty Pirate. Well, shiver me timbers, that's well. <laughs> well, one time we didn't actually have to call ourselves anything else, so... Don't you patronize me. Well, it sounds like you've learned a very big word. You're a very bright little man. <laughs> That's well. <laughs> Laugh while you can. Soon I'll destroy LeChuck and your entire world will lie in ruin. You bet. Roll on and play now, son. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing about this game is that Dingy Dog apparently was trying to find us throughout the whole game. I kind of wish he'd been in the background some places making you think... He was actually following us or something like that, but it just kind of happens off screen or something like that, so. I'd like to speak to your manager. Oh, no, you don't, little boy. <laughs> just the sight of my manager has caused children older than you to burst into tears. Well, it's LeChuck, isn't it, so. I really want to talk to somebody in charge. No can do, son. <laughs> yeah. I need to get on the roller coaster. I'll bet you do. <laughs> it's fun. But that ride's only for bigger kids. I don't care if it's not safe. I have to ride it now. Oh, no, 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 son. <laughs> it's not that it's not safe for little kids to ride. It's just that you've got to be much, much older to really appreciate the sheer mind-numbing terror of the coaster. <laughs> but wait a few years and... You'll have matured enough to ride. 
You'll also be able to buy candy and eat it whenever and wherever you want. <laughs> Just like us grown-ups can. Except by that point, you should not do that because it'll affect you poorly, depending on your body type and everything like that, so. Let me on the roller coaster. Uh, nope. <laughs> that ride's only for bigger kids. Oh, well. Let me on the roller coaster. Uh, nope. Okay. I really want to talk to somebody in charge. No can do, son. <laughs> yeah. I really want to talk to somebody in charge. No can. Nope, okay. All right, can I have a prize then? Oh, wait. Keep up the good work. Okay, we done everything else, so. All right. How can I win one of these fabulous prizes? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch. It's just that easy. So the way we're supposed to win is to actually ask him our age, and the cl clue is to talk to the rat guy when we tell him we're 20. So that's how you're supposed to do that. So, But let's do the weight thing, even though I know it won't result in anything. Just try to guess how much I weigh. All righty. <laughs> let Dingy have a look at you, little guy. Uh, let me see here. I figure a strapping little pirate like you must weigh ooh, 98 pounds. Ha! The joke's on you. 98 pounds? Holy crap, he's a heavy kid. I just look like a little boy. In actuality, I'm a mighty pirate weighing in at... 98 pounds. This is really embarrassing. Am I not eating right? I've been working out. I think did someone at some point before this mention that uh, that uh, Guybrush was pretty weight, uh, like light weighted or someone I guess said something around that time? Maybe I'm misremembering, but I could swear someone says his weight at some other point in the game or or he does or something. But anyway, yeah, he doesn't weigh very much at all. So okay, yeah, that's not how we get the prize. So yeah, all we have to do is ask him how old we are. We solve it ourselves. So I'll bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> bet you I can. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be 20. <laughs> well, do you have any proof for your old pal Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> I have my proof right here. Scum Actors Guild membership card. Guybrush Threepwood, age 20? I suppose you're right. <laughs> Pick your prize. By the way, the scum is the engine that they use for the series, so uh, that's just the joke there. Uh, let's see. How about a costume? Can I have it? Give me the anchor. How about one of those toy voodoo dolls? Send me out with a cannon. One smuggle bunny, please. Ooh, Murray. I really want that talking skull. <laughs> With my unfettered demonic might, we will rule the world! Hmm, you're right, Murray. If I had all that power, the temptation for evil would be too great. I'll take the anchor. Well, take it away, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here at Big Wolf. Yeah, we had to choose anchor no matter what because we needed Look to solve your puzzle. heart. I'm the prize you really want. Well, that's actually true. I'd rather have Murray here, but, uh... Free you know. me, my brother, and together we can rain terror across the land. Come on, pick me. I could see why people get tired of Murray after a while, but... I, you I, know I'm the best toy on the shelf. <clears throat> he's my best... He's... That's why... <laughs> None of the other toys can summon the forces of darkness. Pick me, pick me, pick me. What good is a smuggle bunny when you can have a demonic talking skull? I mean, he makes a really good point. I'm such fun at parties. Come on, we make such a good team. I think he's got a few more lines. Don't leave me here. How'd you get here anyway? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I just I wanted to let him have all his dialogue, so. Well, I like the guy, but this is getting ridiculous. But yeah, we have to take the anchor to solve the puzzle, so. What? You picked the anchor? Well, it's a really nice anchor, Murray. Sorry. I can't believe you picked that stupid anchor instead of me. 
What good is a dumb hunk of iron anyway? Well, you can't solve it. Can't use it to solve the puzzle, Murray. Sorry. It's not even a real anchor. True, it's a toy anchor, but still heavy. I'm a real talking skull. You make, yeah, I, I get it. After all we've been through together. I've been through every single chapter Fine. at least. Take the stupid anchor. You would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. I'm going to wait for an owner who understands my need to bring fear and pestilence on the likes of you. Get out of here before I call up the demonic legions of Hades and set them upon you like a swarm of angry locusts. <laughs> uh, Murray. If you value your life, mere mortal, you will flee before Murray, scourge of the living and uber skull of the underworld. Uh, thanks for all the laughs, Murray. <laughs> yeah, I think Murray's in every single part in the game, I think. Except for the third part, because that's on the ship. Yeah, I think so. So, Well, the thing is, the game makes fun of it that we don't we find him annoying or whatever. He's the most popular character. Like, he was so popular that even Ron Gilbert used him for his game. Even though he wasn't canon as a character. That's how popular he was. So, that's why they keep using him in all the games. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I wonder if they expected him to become so popular after this, or if he was just a funny, runny gag or something like that. But anyway, so we need to get that meringue. So what we need to do is, on um, regular mode, you just have to put the anchor into the pie. But... Hey, what do you think you're doing? I just want one of those pies. Yeah? Well, I just want out of this stinking rat head. Life's tough, kid. Cope. But anyway, yeah, on regular mode, we can do that. On Master Monkey mode, I cannot. We have to do something else. So, remember this pie tin? We got all the way back. Well, now we can actually do something with it. So, good thing we were required to grab it at that point. So, uh, but anyway, let's uh, take a look at this. So, it's a pie pan. And uh, Captain Nick's shaving soap. Foamy. So, what? have you ever watched old-fashioned uh, uh, Stooges shorts or anything with the slapstick back in the day? Pie tin, shaving cream, boom. I've got a pie pan full of shaving cream. And it looks like a pie. That's how they did it back in the day. It's a pie pan full of shaving cream. It sure feels like a pie. Nah. It looks like a pie. It feels like a pie, so it must be a pie. But anyway, we need to put the anchor inside of it. Now it's a heavy pie pan full of shaving cream. It's a heavy pie pan full of shaving cream. It sure feels like a pie. Nah. Okay, now we can put it inside the, uh, the stack. What are you doing over there? I found this pie, mister. Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks, kid. Shoot it, shoot it. Not right now. Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire. Beat cheeks, half pint. Look, man, I pay your salary. You want me to tell the check you've got on happy kids running around here? Okay, okay, you little... <coughs> Did you just hear something? No. Weird. Maybe it's the acoustics of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. <laughs> And the mime gets dragged off screen because he got knocked out by an anchor to the face. So. Gate. Nah. But now we can get back here because we don't have a scary mime to scare us. So. Yoo hoo, stinky Mr. Rat. Hey, get out of there, you little punk. What are you going to do about it, vermin boy? This'll teach you. Oh, he's supposed to wipe off his face, but the animation stuck for some weird reason. But anyway, yeah, he, uh... It's a bunch of bits of meringue from the pie. So we got our eggs now. It feels delicious. I don't want to eat this on its own. I don't need any more abuse. Yeah, to children. Nah. I don't need yeah. any more abuse. Okay, so we got the egg, uh, egg, so now we need the dog hair. So how do we get that? Well, remember how we mentioned about pushing uh, Dingy Dog? Actually, is there anything else we can talk to him about? Nope, okay. Keep up the good work. All right. We need to be violent with him. You know, kids will push, uh, push like, mascots all the time or whatever. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. Come on, now. Stop hitting your pal, dingy dog. 
Now, if you're playing regular mode, you only have to do this three times. If you're playing Master Monkey mode, you actually have to do this six times for some weird reason. I'm not gonna warn you again, kid. This is fun. Let's keep punching him. <laughs> you better cut that out. I mean, I'm a kid. It probably doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, you're really starting to bug me, kid. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. Ow, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. But, uh, yeah, that's how we, he bit me, so technically he's a dog. So there you go. Murray? I'm not speaking to you. How could you pick that anchor over your best friend? Are, were we best friends? Murray? I'm not speaking to you. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the final scene for Murray in the game. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted. You must be as tall as my hand to ride the roller coaster. Yeah, just a little too tiny. Mm, no. Nah. That's why LeChuck chose what he did, so. Oh, what's this? It says snow cones. Mm, no. Nah. So we could use a snow cone. Oh, what the? Pepper mill? Just right there? It's a big pepper mill. That's it? Nah. That's all we have to do? Yeah, that's it. That's all you need for the pepper. You it's a big pepper it. mill. Well, I don't want to waste it. Nah. It looks an awful lot like genuine dog hair. Probably did use dog hair for the suit. Ugh. The hair is useless here. Nah. Okay. Now we need something to put it on, because it won't let me put it on together, so. Ugh. Ew. See. Like oil and water. I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. Well, that doesn't need more seasoning. Well, that doesn't need more seasoning. I'd rather keep these pie bits okay. for a better time. Yeah, anyway. Mm, no. He's a soda jerk. Maybe he is a jerk. What kind of snow cones do you have? <laughs> what kind of cones did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most distinct type of snow cones in the world. In fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. Let me list some for you. I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime, cones with slime, <laughs> veggie cones, wedgie cones, edgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's edge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones, and the Christmas, oh, 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 merry cones. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. Those sound gross. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. <laughs> Bye now. All right. Now we got a plain snow cone. It's a plain snow cone. This snow cone is useless here. Ooh. Tastes like ice. Yeah, so you can just straight up eat it, so it turns into a soggy paper cone when you do Squishy. that. Squishy. It's all that's left of my snow cone. Sucking on a soggy paper cone isn't half as satisfying as eating a snow cone. There are actually do are people that actually like just to eat nice, so they're weirdos, but you know. I'll take that old snow cone for you. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. Right. Bye now. He just gives us another one. Now, if we leave too far away. Oops, my snow cone melted. Yeah, you can't leave too far away. You have to do whatever you're going to do right here. So. so you can't just run around with it. I'll take that Oops. old snow cone. Okay. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. Bye now. All right, so we got everything we need. So all we need to do is put everything on the uh, on the on the snow cone. Whoops. That meringue looks tasty. It's a disgusting snow cone topped with fluffy whipped egg whites, and boy, does it look good. This snow cone is useless here. Ooh. What an incredible taste I've discovered. Meringue. So, yeah, you can eat every single version of it. So. <clears throat> Ow. 
Take that. Okay. I'd like a plain that, snow. That dialogue's all the same. So. Oh, bye now. Okay, so that yeah, you could eat all these separately, so which is gross, but hey. Ugh, hairy. It's a disgusting snow cone topped with synthetic hair from a dog that bit me, and boy does it look good. Ugh, are you sure? This snow cone is useless here. What an incredible taste I've discovered. But yeah, so it's the same dialogue, so there's not... You could put each one on them and eat them, but he'll just say the same thing every time, so... Alright. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, bye now. Okay, well anyway, let's actually do what we're supposed to do, so... That meringue looks tasty. Ugh, hairy. And finally, pepper. Mmm, peppery goodness. It's a disgusting snow cone topped with synthetic hair from a dog that bit me, fluffy whipped egg whites, and fresh ground pepper. All right, looks like we've got everything we need to to say uh, to uh, cure ourselves of this hangover and finally get to uh, uh, Elaine herself, which will make us old. Uh, hopefully, this will make us older if, if we're if we're doing this right, or at least it seems like anyway. So, will Guybrush in his full manly form of the age of twenty be able to take on? The pirate, ghost pirate, actually, I guess demon pirate LeChuck this time. Can he destroy the, the carnival of the damned, save Elaine, and become the pirate he's always meant to be, and get together with the woman he truly knows he loves? We'll find out next time in the finale of The Curse of Monkey Island. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Ooh. Ew. The pepper helps, though. Uh, ah, brain freeze. Thank <laughs> you.